combo uh. by death row bringing gills down to a mere seven health gills is crippled he is done and if he gets this red it might be his undoing death row waiting for it having it timed nearly perfectly and he will catch the rail that will be gills's undoing five to two the lead widens and the only consolation for gills is that he just grabbed mega jar here's what i'm seeing though death row after a frag is so hungry for another frag that his timing on the items is a little sloppy so as soon as gills gets a stack if he gets the balls to go as aggressive against death row as death row's going against him that'll change everything because right now, these past few frags that Death Row has been getting has been times, you know, when Gills is trying to be on the defensive, trying to be cautious, nice. and Death Row just spits it right back in his face. So Death Row is going to do a little bit of damage, look for an exit. We got three seconds to Mega. Death Row is going to be getting a poor entrance to it and ending up doing no damage and actually going straight in for that Y8, really. Well, no, actually, he Some did a little bit of backpedal, but just not quite enough. Now, there is something else really significant yeah. to call out. Oh, he, that's a mistake. He fell down. That's LG. That Gills is apparently missing. But anyway, oh, look at this. Another ah. skill of red by Death Row. Six to two. Uh, but one thing I really want to call out, though, is that the railgun accuracies have flipped. Death Row has been using his rail so effectively as an exit weapon. He's getting combos with it, so he's hitting rocket rail. And as he's uh, ducking out of the way of a uh, rocket from Gills, he's hitting... There's another one. You know, he's hitting these rails, and Gills, on the other hand, if we go hop over to him, he's only got a 36% rail, and um, Death Row now a 45, and he's hovering around 44, 50%-ish for Death Row, and what a difference it's making. Um, again, the timing that Death Row is hitting these rails, I think, is the critical thing, not necessarily the accuracy, but, uh, you know, the fact that he's using it as combos, and then as, um, like in this case, boom, he just pops out, hits the rail, and ducks out of the way again. We have Red up in five, and Jahar, I think Gills, under a lot of pressure here, four frags to make up, and less than two minutes to do it. And I think we're seeing some of that pressure really kind of come down. We're starting to see Gills' uh, movement around the map kind of start to crack. So that prediction I was making before about Gills getting timing on the items because Death Row not showing up on time, uh, that's going to require Gills, you know, being as mentally there as he's been at the beginning of the match. But right now at this point, I don't think he is. I think he's been running around a, lo around a lot of corners and just playing right into Death Row's hands. But there's a red armor grab. But as you said, oh, wow. the time's getting short. Death Row's <laughs> rails for any of those mistakes death row's rails are equalizing every single one of them yes and, so and that's the critical we're seeing a complete reversal of yeah. the last map pretty much in the same exact situation oh and look at that oh, death wow. row's rail is able to force off gills mega. off of mega oh man yeah i, I think gills is pretty much uh God sung the final tune, although he's finally hit some nice rails of his own. Death Row now armorless. Gills, let's see if he can put together this frack. He finally does get the red armor, and it's clean. But I think with one minute left to go, uh, basically Gills is, is hoping for um, just maybe a couple of quick frags to lessen the blow here, as we will definitely be moving on to ZTN as the tiebreaker map. This will be a best of three. This series is single elimination until we get to the finals, so uh, just a heads up for those that are wondering in IRC, those you know, those are the rules of this tournament, and here is Gills just chasing, 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 plus forward, oh, and wow. right into the LG, which, quite frankly, uh, Death Row's LG yeah. is, is something a bit lackluster tonight. He really does rely on the rail and rocket combos to get him through, but ZTN can be a quite uh, LG friendly map. Look at this. Gil is actually almost killing Death Row, even though he had uh, no right to, given the uh the fact that Death Row got the initial tag with that LG. So 7-3 to three is going to be the final score as we wind this down. 42% rail for Death Row, 31 LG, 29 rockets. But there's another key thing. Again, five impressives, but this time it's for Death Row and not Gills. So yeah, absolutely another fantastic match there. The rails... I, I hate to pick on aim, and I hate to pick on a, a single weapon for some victories, but those rails were just showing up against Gills at just the wrong time. And every single time, it was just denying Gills of these crucial, crucial timings. Uh, so here on ZTN, we saw pretty much a, a flip-flop between DM6 and T7, So, but uh, with Death Row winning the last one, we'll see if Gills can pull his brain back together here because clearly yeah. after that last one, it was splattered all over the pavement. Well, I think Gills so is going to feel a lot more comfortable in ZTN. I, we, we called it out during right. Game 6 that T7 is probably his least favorite uh, 
playground. So let's, uh, again, while, while these guys are warming up, hopefully I can do a little bit of a tour for anyone who's new. This is ZTN, and this is also called the Blood Run. You're going to see a Mega Health spawn in this long, narrow hallway here on this spot. There's going to be one yellow armor spawning here near this portal. I call this portal yellow. Prepare and uh, over here there's a real gun. Up top is a red armor in this little cubby. There's one more yellow armor that we'll go Three, see near a plasma two, gun. One. As we go live, once again, Evil Genius Genius's Master Series oh, sponsored by MSI Notebook. And, yeah, Death Row getting a, a pretty interesting spawn, uh, getting Mega off the bat, and we'll have position for this red. So Gills is in the uh, little bit of an FML moment. He was able to sneak off and grab the two yellow armors, though. So he's actually not in too bad of shape. He doesn't have a lightning gun, doesn't have a real gun. And oh, he doesn't even have a shotgun as he gets pummeled twice by Death Row's rockets. It's a trap, oh, yeah. There's a trap. <laughs> Beautiful. It's a trap. Death Row's left with 31 health, no armor. We got red coming up. Is it going to be attacked? He's no, good. Gil's he's is not going to have. Yeah, well, barely off of that. So with Mega getting stolen away by Gil's, uh, the stack here with. Uh, plasma yellow also being taken by gills here. This is going to be interesting because yeah, they're, they're pretty much really even. got a pen on these shards. I mean, the the twenty fives and the red armor really saved Death Row's ass here. But now, after the initial spawn of gills, he's got the advantage. So as we see this kind of double around, nice. there we have it, and an exact opposite. But this time, gills still has plenty of that mega left over. Red's back up, and gills now starting to get the advantage here. Yeah, and by the way, when uh, I said pretty much even, I basically meant Gills had an extra, like, 80 health and armor, because I can do math. Yeah. So, uh, Gills is right now <laughs> looking really solid. Now, look at this. He's trying to make sure he doesn't get killed as he picks up this Mega. And Death Row is not even waiting, but he does collect red because Gills had to basically make sure he didn't die picking up that Mega. Now, uh, critically, though, Death Row does not have a lightning gun. Not necessarily his best weapon, but it's always something you want to have in your arsenal, even if you're not terribly strong with it, because it will save your ass given the right situation. And um, in this case, uh, Death Row basically just relying on rails and rockets, I think, is two strongest weapons. Gills, on the other hand, has everything in his arsenal that he might want. Red Armor is up. Death Row raining rockets at the last one's a really good one. Can he hit another to force Gills off of this red? He's got pretty good position. Moves in for it. Doesn't exactly hit the red, but uh, Mega is available for him. But Gills is going to try to make sure that he dies, and Death Row does him a favor by killing himself. Two to zero. Wow, and that was just some really great timing on him because after that second frag, that was the time for Gills to slow things down. Did so just enough, and he was in the perfect place uh, for red armor, and coming down like that, Death Row, it surely wasn't... Uh, my god, we're seeing another fight up here. And Gills missing the clutch rail, but red is left up for him as a reward, and Death Row nowhere near alive enough uh, to yeah. even think about venturing out and trying to do any damage. So Death Row is going to be on the back foot here for a while. Gills is going to start to enjoy map control. Well, and let's talk a little bit about, I, I think this is probably the most challenging thing as a player being out of control on ZTN. Nice dodge by Death Row. He read oh, yeah, Gills' yeah. planned rail shot exit very well. But here's the thing, crossing this map without being noticed or walking into nades <laughs> is one of the hardest things to do when Gills is just ah. waiting and Death Row will blow himself up again. Gills says no tricks in 86. So, uh, this is going to be quite difficult for Death Row. Um, crossing ZTN unnoticed by the player in control is probably one of the hardest things. And look at this, Gills once again proving that he can use sound cues extremely well and defend himself uh, and control every single item. And this is where Death Row is, uh, I think, um, where he feels the most uncomfortable and Gills feels the most comfortable. Switching over to Gills' point of view, once Gills has item timing, He's very hard to dethrone, so we're going to see if uh, Death Row can put something together. He's only three frags down, so you know it's not a huge um, hill to climb just yet, but that timer, that'll get away from you. We're almost four minutes in, Jahar. Indeed, and it looks like Death Row's trying to change up the route enough and change up the pacing. As you say, getting across this map is one thing, but if you can uh, take away your opponent's awareness of where you are, um, that's another thing altogether. But we've already seen the effects of that on DM6 tonight, and the direct result of that is Death Row not really getting a lot to his own name. So, uh, if there's going to be any traps, they need to be very solid here. And finally, these rockets knock him around, but Gil still above 100 health, switching over to LG at this point. Very interesting, but ultimately not going to be anything against skills. <laughs> 
skills, watch out for your grenades. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice round. Now, here we go. The comeback weapon for Death Row, I think, will be this, if you can start stringing together the rail and rocket combo uh, that he was...